Qubits can be coupled together in such a way that measuring one qubit will affect the state of the other qubit or even other qubits. This type of coupling is known as entanglement, and we say that coupled qubits are entangled. Measuring one qubit will instantaneously affect the state of a qubit or the qubits it is entangled to, even if these qubits are many light years apart. This is exactly the spooky action at a distance that upsets Einstein and many other physicists in the early 20th century. While measuring one qubit will affect the state of a qubit that it is entangled to faster than light can travel between them, it is important to note that this does not mean we can use entanglement for faster than speed of light communication. That being said, use of entanglement for communication purposes, whether that is communication of classical information or quantum information, has many incredible benefits. The canonical example of entangled states is that of the Bell states. They are four maximally entangled two qubit states. Before measuring either qubit in a Bell state, both qubits can be found to be a zero or one. However, measuring one of the qubits will completely determine the state of the other qubit. For example, we'll consider either Bell state where the qubits are in a superposition of both being zero and both being one. And these are the top two Bell states shown on this slide. We know that both qubits need to be in the same state when measured. So if I measure one of the qubits and get a zero, I know with certainty that when I measure the other qubit, I will also get a zero. Similarly, if I measure one of the qubits and get a one, then I know with certainty that when I measure the other qubit, I will also get a one. As an analogy, let's say I always wear matching colored socks. So I always wear two white socks or I always wear two black socks. If you see my left foot and I'm wearing a white sock, then you know with certainty that when you see my right foot, I will also be wearing a white sock. Similarly, if you see my left foot and I'm wearing a black sock, then you will know with certainty that when you see my right foot, I will also be wearing a black sock. This isn't a perfect analogy as my sock colors are not actually entangled, but it helps give some intuition for how the measurement results would look for the first two bell states. Notice that in our Bell state example, measurement of one or both qubits changes our state. This is true for all four Bell states and generally for entangled states. The property of measurement changing entangled states is used in entanglement-based quantum communication to detect eavesdroppers, that is, unwanted measures of our quantum information. We will discuss this in more detail later in this webinar. So why do we care so much about quantum properties and specifically entanglement? Well, they behave completely differently than how the world does at our scale. Because of this, they're very interesting and have, any, and have many implications philosophically and metaphysically. This is probably a big reason that quantum properties are starting to find their way into pop culture. For example, there was a recent blockbuster hit into the quantum verse and they have shown up in many books, songs, and other movies as well. Although entanglement has been known since the days of Einstein, it recently made a big splash in the scientific community. In 2022, three physicists, Aspect, Clauser, and Zeilinger, won a Nobel Prize for demonstrating the existence of and their control over entanglement. What excites me and many others most about entanglement is that it is an incredibly important and powerful tool for quantum technologies. For example, quantum computers, for basically all extents and purposes, would not be able to outperform classical computers without utilizing entanglement. Purely classical computers can efficiently emulate quantum computers that exclusively have non-entangled qubits, even if those qubits display other quantum properties. Similarly, quantum networks that utilize entanglement achieve level, levels of performance and new capabilities that cannot be matched by their classical counterparts or by quantum networks that don't utilize entanglement. 
Entanglement-based quantum networks will be used to scale quantum computers and quantum sensors to achieve much faster computing and more precise sensing and will also be used to achieve provable security for classical and quantum information alike. We will see exactly where entanglement is used when we examine use cases and applications of entanglement-based quantum networks.